Sentosa Island in Singapore. Sentosa Island was originally a British military fortress until 1972 when it was redeveloped into the adults' playground that you see on the video today. The old remains of the fortress remain at Fort Siliso Point, uh, which is now a museum and has Asia Asia's largest collection of big guns. And yes, they are very big guns. Sentosa Island has come a long way from its past as a military fortress, and for an island that's just five square kilometers, it really has quite a few attractions. You can think of it as Las Vegas combined with a theme park in a rainforest at the beach. The most scenic way to get into Sentosa Island is to take the jewel box cable car from the top of Mount Faber. It costs 24 Singapore dollars for a round trip ticket, and the views are definitely amazing. As you come into Sentosa Island on the cable car, you pass over the Resorts World Complex, which has a large water park and is also home to Singapore's newest casino. To the left, off in the distance, is Universal Studios. If cable cars aren't really your thing, you can also take the Sentosa Express monorail into Sentosa Island. It leaves from the Vivo City Shopping Mall and costs $4 for the trip into Sentosa Island. The return off of Sentosa Island back to the Singapore mainland is free. So you could do what I did and take the cable car into the island and then the monorail back to the mainland. And if you're really adventuresome, you can walk to Sentosa Island along this same bridge that the monorail goes on, and that will only cost you one dollar. If you take the cable car onto the island, you will arrive at Imbia Lookout. The small hill on Sentosa Island is known as Imbia Lookout. This is where the cable car stops from Mount Faber. This is also where the luge takes off. There's a number of eateries and other attractions up here as well. If you like butterflies and insects, this is your place to go. Now, I'm not really sure how they decided that the butterfly park should be combined with the insect kingdom. I'd go to see the butterflies, but not really the big insects like that huge beetle on the side. If you're a big kid like me, then you ought to check out the Sentosa Luge and Skyride. It's part toboggan, part go-kart, but all sorts of fun. Or at least that's what the sign says. You gotta get a helmet to get on the ride, and then they give you some instruction, and then down the hill you go. One half of the luge ride is lugeing down the hill, but then the other half of the ride is taking this uh, ski lift all the way back up to the top of the hill. If you start at the top of the hill, then you take the luge down and the uh, ski lift chair back to the top, or you can start from the bottom at the beach and take this ski lift chair up to the top and then luge down. Every luge ride comes with one sky chair ride. It's nice and scenic, but... In Singapore, it's hot, and it's sunny, and it's noon, and I'm melting. It is hot on this chair. If you're really feeling adventuresome, you can do the Mega Zip Zip Line. I did. You can see I'm in the harness. I just finished. Pretty fun ride. The Zip Line ride starts at the top of Imbia Lookout and goes down to this little island on the beach. The zip line is 450 meters long, 75 meters high, and you reach speeds up to 50 kilometers per hour. When you start at the top, they clip you in, and then off you go down the hill. It was so much fun, I had to go a second time. If beach going's your thing, Sentosa Island has a couple of man-made beaches. They uh, are nice and picturesque with white sand, but uh, not a lot of waves, just for swimming and wading. In addition to sand and palm trees, Siloso Beach is also fronted by a number of beach clubs and bars. Great if you didn't bring a towel, but you still want to be able to lounge. Also at Siloso Beach is the Wave House, which is a man-made wave, actually by a guy from San Diego. So you can surf, just you guys surf here at the Wave House. For getting around the island, there are also a series of Sentosa buses. They're free to ride and will take you almost anywhere you want to go in 10 minute intervals. Along the beach, instead of a bus, they operate an outdoor beach tram, also at 10 minute intervals. And the final attraction that I'll mention is the 37 meter tall merlion, the mascot of Singapore. There are five official merlion statues in Singapore, this one being the largest. So if your travels take you to Singapore, definitely check out Sentosa Island, where there are attractions for the kid in all of us.
Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe.